If you're experiencing chronic neck tension that could be leading towards headaches, then something that I see a lot is an inability to breathe correctly, an inability to expand the rib cage when we breathe in. Now, I'm going to assume there's no injury, previous trauma to the neck or anything medical uh, going on here. If there is, you should probably see a physical therapist or a doctor, and this is probably not the advice for you. But if it's just kind of chronic underlying tension, then what could be going on a lot of times is an inability to expand the rib cage. When we breathe in, we should have our rib cage expand in every direction. There should be a little bit of belly movement, but it should also be a lot of rib cage movement as well because that's where our lungs are. When our diaphragm contracts, it needs to pull air into the lungs and expand the ribs. But if we have a rib cage that is compressed, especially in the front here, we have ribs that are one through seven, really two through seven because one doesn't move. If two through seven are down and then they can't elevate when we breathe, then we have secondary neck muscles that run and attach to our top ribs. Those are supposed to be working to a very slight degree during normal resting breathing. But if we can't use our diaphragm because our rib cage is compressed, then we're going to kick in our secondary neck muscles more for uh, inhalation. Now, if this is persistent, the neck can try and pull on the rib cage to get more air into this compressed area. And then that can lead to a lot of chronic neck tension because those muscles are working in overdrive. Now, something we can do to correct that would be put ourselves in a position where we can breathe and feel the expansion we need to take stress off of our neck and allow our diaphragm to actually do its job properly. So here's an exercise you can do. Now, what you want to do is you want to get in a 90-90 sideline position on the ground. What that means is you have a 90 degree bend, a right angle at both your knees and your hips. You want to find a place where you can be sidelined but pull your heels against something. I'm using this TV stand right here, but you can, it'll be different for everyone how they can set it up. So find something that works for you. And then once you're in the sideline position, even out your feet so they're in line with your hips. And then place a ball or a pillow in between your knees and just hold it there. Then you want to support your head with your hand and then push your hip into the ground, which will create some space between your abs and the floor. You should feel these side abs kick on, and then you want to posteriorly tuck your hips, tuck your tailbone, bring your belt buckle to your belly button, and then take your top hand, reach it for the wall gently, even out your head, pull back a little bit to feel your hamstrings, and then exhale. Nice and relaxed. Exhale until you feel your obliques on top and down below work. Keep that compression in your obliques as you pause for about three seconds with your mouth closed. And then keep that compression in the obliques with the low rib cage down. And then inhale. Repeat that for five breaths. So here's one full breath cycle. Pull back. Tuck. Abs here. The key is relaxation. 